Hi and welcome to another one of my videos on youtube.com slash home edition. Today I'm going to show you how I stress test my latest overclock. Now right here you see the CPU speed it's fluctuating between 1600 megahertz and 4600 megahertz. Now this is an Intel i7 2600K CPU. It's supposed to run at uh, 3400 megahertz or 3.4 gigahertz and what I have right here is Intel burn test okay set up with the default options I'm gonna run it for five passes I just ran it the only difference now is that I'm actually recording my screen at the same time so I'm guessing that's gonna put a little more stress on the CPU maybe even increase my heat a little bit so I'm gonna reset this so let's see let's see what we have we're gonna run five passes and hopefully everything records properly and pay attention right here to the CPU Z core voltage it's gonna go up to 1.36 that's the highest I've seen it and you know we're having a 1200 megahertz uh, overclock right now so let's start the test let's see what happens so Look at the temperatures, They're, they are jumping up there, aren't they? And there's a distance to TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx is the maximum allowed processor temperature before the processor downclocks itself to prevent any type of damage. And over here under the Intel burn test, we're waiting for five results right here, okay? and each result should be the same exact number otherwise it tells you that the overclock is not stable some people recommend you run this for 10 runs 20 runs uh, this is just a quick demonstration I'm doing five runs and I am taping a 1080p video at the same time so look at my uh, core voltage it's 1.368 okay so actually voltage wise it's not like crazy it's not a huge increase in voltage basically let me just tell you what I set up in my BIOS my short duration power limit is 230 my long duration power limit is 200 um, long duration maintained in seconds is one second additional turbo voltage is set to auto um, when I had additional turbo voltage set to like plus 0 0.039 it wouldn't even boot properly uh, core current limit is 230. Host clock override is 100 megahertz. Spread spectrum is disabled. Um, those are just some of the settings, and I'll go over that more in depth later on. So, at 4.6 gigahertz, we had a successful pass with the Intel burn test using um, five passes. Everything worked out well. The highest recorded temperature was 95 degrees Celsius, which is hot, but it's still within the limits uh, for short-term testing. Okay, I'm actually one of those people that I'm not going to subject my computer to an hour of you know burn-in testing. I know some people like to do that. I don't because whatever I do on this computer, whether it's video editing or playing the only game I play uh, once in a while, just Grand Theft Auto my temperatures will never never reach the temperatures that these um, overclocking uh, test programs reach and especially Intel burn test Intel burn test seems to reach temperatures that this other program I used to use prime 95 um, that would never make my CPU this hot so this test the Intel burn test seems to be uh, a lot more um, intensive but um, my this overclock 4.6 gigahertz it was stable enough and I, like I said I'm also taping a 1080p video here so not too shabby you know I could definitely run my computer on 4.6 gigahertz and not even think about it because if it didn't crash here under all this stress and load then it's not gonna crash you know doing whatever it is I'm doing even if I'm you know rendering a video so there you have it, 4.6 gigahertz and uh, running strong. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you enjoyed this video. In fact, I would actually appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up button. It's somewhere below right here. And also, 
You know what? You might as well subscribe to my channel. Why not, right? You never know what I'm going to make next. All right. I'll catch you on the next one.